Hey there, happy quarantine. This is a video about my behind the scenes, why I made White Woman's Wrap. My White Woman's Wrap will be out soon. It's going through copywriting right now. And I hope you love this new wig. I am just like over the top about this wig. And before anybody gets nasty, I don't care because this is my hair, okay? So this is what this is. This is an amazing person who does these things. This is her little missing needles, Miss Needles. And she is in the UK. She does dreadlocks. She does all kinds of other cool accessories. And you may recall Deb's OG hat. I got this in 2016 and this was made by the same person. She is in the UK and I'm just wild, wild, wild about this woman's ability to make theatrical or amazing, um, I don't know, accessories. I, they're just like breakthrough. A lot of you have been asking me about these accessories. A lot of you want to know where do I get them at? Well, it's this little wonderful shop that's over in the UK. You can look up online. She has got some amazing things online, so check it out. And then when you hear Deb's OG playing, the, this is the new song, White Woman's Rap, you can get out your own little wig. This is called Cyber Goth, and I love it. Cyber Goth Industrial. And I'm just like super, super, see you got goggles and Deb's OG. Had little goggles right there in the front. Got the little time. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. So, this is my behind the scenes. Why am I doing white women's rap? Well, um, and you'll see on my album cover, this album cover is to die for. You'll see me with my pet. And no, I know a lot of you think I look like Carol Baskins. And, you know... Although Carol has her own place to shine in the sun, <laughs> I don't like killing people. So I didn't go out and kill anybody. But here's the thing. I do love the fact that she is passionate about saving animals. So I'm, I'm all aboard on that. However, if you go way, 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 way back and you think about movies that made it big, King Kong. So when I think about badass bitches in history. That lady that got to have King Kong as her major pet, her major whatever sidekick, nobody gave her a problem. <laughs> and when King Kong got on top of the Empire State Building, I'm like, yeah, I like that. So you'll see me on my new album cover, White Woman's Rap with my gorilla and his baby Kong. Baby Kong, I love Baby Kong. He's a gorilla, he's amazing, and he's sweet, and he's endearing, and he's free, you know? He he only did an album, <laughs> an album cover with me, but the point is, he's like the real Kong, he's free. Not locked up in a cage, taking away his liberty, but he is free. And so, I wanted to play you just a little bit of my white woman's rap, just a little teaser. So you can kind of get a feel for what we're going to have here. Elegant, sleek, nothing meek. Working hard to preserve these cheeks. It's my tier four cheeks. Stack money and dance with the freaks. You know you ain't got no plans. You might as well come and dance this week. You might as well come and dance. Do me a favor and do the bow -bow, do the bow -bow. So we're going to have a little dance contest around my bobo, butt out, butt out, butt out. So I, I just think that everybody has a right to go out and be inspirational and be, I, I guess, exciting and express themselves and not have to be worried about all these haters and bulliers. So if you're going to hate, you're going to bully, you don't like my wig, okay, sorry. Go tell somebody else about it because you know what? I'm going to have fun. I'm going to inspire. 
and we're all locked up in these houses or apartments or trailers or whatever you're locked up in. And God forbid if you're in a hospital room, but I want everybody to be entertained and happy and we all kind of pull through this together. So White Woman's Wrap is about being inspiring, having fun, and not letting somebody rain on your parade. So go out there and enjoy. Share that expression of yourself. And maybe you've always been like too afraid to let it out and to let people see who you really are because you're worried about being criticized or condemned, ostracized, bullied. God knows people can be kind of cruel, but guess what? At the end of the day, you won't have a regret. Because even if you do like a major bomb, so what? You, you got to go out and get it out of your system. You got to be yourself. And maybe you might be a success at it. Maybe people are like, oh, wow, I want to try that. You know, and if you can inspire at least one person, my gosh, how exciting is that? So White Woman's Rap is about being yourself and being self-confident, being sure of yourself and saying, hey, this is who I am. Take me or leave me. Love me or hate me, but I'm going to be me because I've lived in misery too long hiding who I really am. So I finally got the courage up to be my full self once my dad died in my arms and I realized how short life is. And I think it's just too bad that it took all of that trauma and grief and um, having to go have a major colon surgery operation to save my own life. I think it's just too bad that it took me 60 years almost to realize that. But thank God I realized it. And thank God I had the, um, I guess, the guts and the courage, the bravery to stand up and go, okay, here I am. This is who I am. And I know a lot of you have been brave and a lot of you have already done that. And for those people, I'm like super inspired by. There's so many people out there that have inspired me and given me the courage to try new things and be, you know, be who I am. So I hope you like the wig. I'm just like, you know, this thing here is, I don't think it'll ever decay. I think... This will probably be around for a few thousand years because I think it's absolutely made out of, uh, you know, like polypropylene, polyethylene, all those polys that never disintegrate. <laughs> I think it's made out of that. And maybe even some old film reels in here. You know, maybe even King Kong's up in here somewhere. But all I know is head lice can't stand this and they won't be alive in here, so... And it's easy to shampoo and it doesn't get greasy. So I think it's awesome. Now, if there's another thing you want to know about my little wrap, um, I'm working with an amazing graphic artist who's doing the cover for me. And she has done every one of my album covers. And she is amazing. She's up in um, the East Coast. And I love that. And I'm hoping that once all of this COVID passes us by, you'll be able to come and see Debs OG and you'll be able to see me performing White Woman's Rap. You'll be able to see me performing my other new song, Grandma's Love. And you'll see Sophia on the cover of that with me. And as soon as we get through all the copyright legal stuff, It'll be out. All of these will be out. And then I'm working on a couple of other songs right now that should be um, one's another love song. And the other one is just definitely, definitely a fun rap. Just a really fun rap. <laughs> it's called, it's going to be called uh, Making It Side Hustle. And every one of us have had a side hustle in our life. Right now I have a side hustle and it just is bringing me pain and grief. And, and you know, you know, there's got to be a time when you got to know it to cut the cord because you just don't like the way things are, you know, kind of turning out or people treating you badly. And so my song is about that. It's about... You know, you took a side hustle because you kind of needed it for a little bit for whatever reason, whether it's insurance, whether it's, 
you know, income. I mean, there's all kinds of reasons you take on a side hustle. However, the side hustle shouldn't take on you. You shouldn't have to be miserable and discouraged and bullied and harassed. Nobody should have to go through that. So I wrote this song for everybody who knows who's gone through, even if it's your real job and it's not just a side hustle, but any kind of job way of making an income. If it's getting on your last nerve and it's making you happy, then that's a sign that you need to shelve that. <laughs> Go get something that's more up your alley and makes you really happy. So this is going to be this, you know, the background that I would normally release once my song is released. However, since I can't go out and shoot the music video right now, and I can't shoot kind of like the behind the scenes so you can meet the people, the fantastic people I'm working with and share some of their story with you, I just decided to do this in a little bit different order. So that's the background of my new white woman's rap coming out. And then you'll we'll see um, Grandma's Love for um, a tribute to Sophia turning into a tween. It's hard to believe, isn't it? And all of the girls on the show that are having tweens pop up, it's just like, wow, time fly has flown so fast. And it's just been kind of a neat experiment too, I think, um, watching all of these people and lives and families and kids grow up right before your eyes on TV. And it's real. Anyway, I hope you are all doing well in your quarantine. I hope this puts a smile on your face. I hope it's inspiring to you. So if you're sitting there bored out of your mind and you want to do something, try to make the sun shine, right? Have a great day. Love you guys. And thank you all for watching my YouTube channel and being fans. And I can't wait to hear my music. And I hope you get to grooving and a bouncing and a moving because that's what it's about. That'll burn calories. I don't know about you, but I'm packing on some calories sitting here in the house. I, I, I can't wait to get outside and exercise. All right. Ciao.